the salary was they were hoping of 60k mm -hmm. a year always be well aware of the things what you are going to do and what you want to do build a better resume something to write in the resume like have better in internships have better projects the most of have a better gpa <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm at the moment in University of Kiel. What's your name? Pranav. Pranav, where are you from? I'm from Kerala. And uh, it's been how long that you're here in Germany now? 18 months. Yeah. What are you studying? Electric vehicle propulsion and control. So you're studying in University of Kiel? Yes, it's in the technical faculty, uh, okay. not in the main campus, but it's like on the other side. Uh, what's your bachelor's in? And can you give us a background? My bachelor's was in electrical and electronics engineering, and uh, I did it in Kerala, mm -hmm. uh, in Kerala Technical University. Um, I scored uh, 8.2 in my bachelor's. I worked for one year, and then I applied for this course, and like came here. You got 8.2 and in how many universities did you apply? I applied around uh, 8 to 9 universities. I and guess. how many you got selected in? I got selected in 6 universities. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And you said you're doing currently masters in? Electric Vehicle Propulsion and Control. And what sort of future do you want to have after you complete this course? My major is in Power Electronics. Okay. So probably it's like I'll end up in something around Power Electronics or Grid. Something close to that. I, and I do see a lot of jobs in this field right now. Yeah. At yeah. least in the you know specific areas of Germany. Yes. Yeah. I'm I'm currently doing my thesis, so I'm right. started to apply for the jobs. Right. But it may seem easy, but it's not that easy. Of course, of course. Yeah. And I think there are a lot of different factors also affecting, right? External factors impacting yeah. your process of yes. finding a job. There's a war going on, which is still, you know, yeah. Ukraine war, Russia war is not ended yet. Yeah. Israel war is, is on. Of course, yeah. So, okay, fair enough. Can we talk a little bit about specializations one can do when they get into this course? Specialization can be two. You can take power electronics or else you can take control. control Control, it's like if you're not passionate enough to pursue control, then it's like it's a very difficult stream to study. So it's like when it goes to non-linear controls and stuff, it becomes very hard for a person to get into. Right. So it's like okay. so you 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 should decide on yourself. Like it's always like that Perfect. because yeah. other field would be grids. Mm. Yeah, grids is also a upcoming future technologies like smart grids and stuff. Right. So that's also something you can do. Yeah, basically those three. So if I have triple E. Uh -huh as a bachelor's, mm -hmm. what kind of master's programs can I apply to? Can, can you name a few? One was, of course, yours, what you're studying. Yeah. What then, else? Then uh, the normal electrical engineering and information technology. And there is automotive engineering. Then there might be electronics engineering. Go with mechatronics. Mm -hmm. That's kind of robotics and stuff. Artificial intelligence and right. robotics and stuff. Triple it's not just with electrical. You will combine IT, electronics and electrical. So it's like a company of three. Correct. So you have uh, so many vast areas to cover. So Bachelor's, uh, sorry. Your current master's, what you're doing, is it paid or a free course? It's an Erasmus Mundus course. Your Erasmus Mundus yeah. course. Okay, so okay, cool. Which, what are your next destinations? Have you already planned that out? Uh, as I said, I'm, I'm doing my thesis now, yeah, so right. it's over. So you have already gone around? Um, I had my first mobility in France, mm. first semester. Then I just current directly came to Germany. I, I just didn't change. I stayed here oh, because wow. it was like, it seems fun, but <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Moving here and there, it's not that fun. Right, right, right. What about like when you look at the larger prospects of jobs right because at mm -hmm. the end of the day I think one of the concerns which every student before they fly anywhere is yeah. abroad will I get a job or not right what, what do you have to say on that as you said uh, this domain is one of the most happening domain right now mm. so of course it's competitive but it's like if you do you if you have the proper uh, thesis if you have right. proper the internship if you do the subjects properly if you take the electives properly then it's like you have a fair shot or mm. else it's like uh, you see people coming to Germany and just put the subjects aside and do all those things aside so it's like if that's the case then according to the job market that's now then it's it will be very difficult to right, find a job right, right. can you tell me a bit about beside having a bachelor's in triple e yeah and now almost in the words of completing masters mm. what are your core skills just name From, three of them you mean software skills or uh, software technical certification technical, whatever you've done i have uh, majored in power electronics uh -huh. so power electronics is like my top most major domain i know almost everything about that right and uh, I'm doing my thesis in grid, like right. grid and harmonics and stuff. So right. as you do thesis, you evolve. So of course, it's yeah. like my, I'm also good in that. And also like you do all this, all these electrical and all those stuff in MATLAB and Simulink or Plex or stuff, all those right. softwares. I'm smooth in those two. If you're a hiring manager, right? Yeah. Felt nice, huh? Quickie. <laughs> <laughs> of course. If you're the hiring manager, yeah. 
there is a guy who has done the same batch masters what you have done okay and uh, he's getting hired for grid for example or for one of the areas you're interested in okay what are the one or two questions you will ask this person what did you do on your thesis like uh, okay that's the major question anyone would of ask of course yeah, like, yeah. Course, that's a good starting point right yes then whatever he answers for the thesis i'll go the, for the next <laughs> question because it's like it's always dependent on that okay okay, okay. our salary is good with your field in your field our salary is good yeah i attended a interview which was the salary was they were hoping of for like 60k nice. a year so uh, that was in amazon i didn't get yet a word but no. it's like i'm hoping somewhere around there somewhere around that okay okay what do you have to tell all those triple e students who are watching us right now and they are interested into doing masters what do you want to tell them there are a lot of courses in germany available for like electrical and uh, all other domains related to that so have a thorough research on what's uh, what you have to do like everything is there in youtube you can search his own channel it's like uh, i've so i've seen his channel and came to came to know about lot of universities right. so uh, there is uni assist you can go through yeah. at there and you can just know the courses so always be well aware of the things what you are going to do and what you want to do and build a better uh, resume like something to write in the resume like yep. uh, have better in- internships have better projects mm. stuff the most of all like have a better gpa <laughs> yeah, because it the always the plays a role right, for sure for yeah. sure all right guys so with that being said if you've made it till here hit that thumbs up button and i'll see you guys next time bye bye